Aloha and welcome to Hula Preservation Society's Digital Umeke. HPS has conducted oral history interviews with Hula elders for over 20 years. Digital Umeke is our virtual collections website, featuring select materials of elder collections from our archive. This tutorial is a brief overview on navigating and accessing materials in the Kahili Long Cummings Collection. Upon visiting Digital Umeke, images of some elders we have worked with are displayed at the top. These remarkable people lived through dramatically changing times in 20th century Hawaii. Their lives in Hula have helped to preserve, perpetuate, and cultivate Hawaiian culture and lifeways. There are a handful of tabs at the very top that can help you use and navigate this site. Scrolling down the page allows you to access areas by featured content and by category. Let's take a look at the collection for Antikahili Long Cummings. Click on the top tab titled Collections. This is Hula Master Kahili Long Cummings. She was born in 1918 on the island of Maui, the sixth in a large family of 15 children. Her mother was a hula master herself, and hula and music had a big presence throughout Auntie's life. HPS's many meetings with Auntie Kahili took place at her homestead in Pokukalo, mostly in the garage where she often spent time. You can learn more about Auntie Kahili and her life's journey through this virtual collection. All of our oral history kupuna have a featured photo, with a short summary at the top of their collection page. Below this is a brief section providing insight into how HPS met this elder and what it was like to spend time with them. Auntie Kahili was so enjoyable to be with, and she spent many hours with HPS through simple one-on-one -on -one talk stories about life, hula, lauhala, family, Hawaiian language, history, Hawaii, you name it. We came to see that she was Maui through and through, and we felt honored to sit, listen, and learn. Auntie did one public panel discussion with HPS, something she'd never done before, but she was amazing as you'll soon see. To see the items available in Auntie's virtual collection, scroll down. These records contain photos, interview transcripts, edited video, finding aids, and footage lists to assist you in your research and learning. Let's take a look at Auntie Kahili's person record. Here we have some basic biographical info about Auntie and her family, and the photograph shows a young, lively Kahili on her wedding day. Let's go back to Auntie's main collection page. Another type of record you can use to learn more about Auntie is a digital heritage item record. Let's take a look at the one HPS panel discussion Auntie was a part of in 2005. It took place close to her home on the island of Maui. I was born and raised here, born in Kahului, uh, right in the front of the fairgrounds, which was called store camp because my dad was a clerk at the Punani store. So we got to live there. Later on, we moved uh, in the back of the fairgrounds, he got a job as a prison warden. Who made it possible from uh, Prince Kuhio Kalania Naole? He had come to uh, Maui to the fair, and before the gates opened, everybody was mingling around the gate. So my dad looked over and somebody said, hey, the prince is here. So he sent somebody over to bring the prince to our home. So he came there, and uh, everybody gathered around and had the music. So he, in interviewing my dad about, you know, what, what he was doing, my dad told him how much money he was getting, and we had a big family. There's 15 children in our family. And so he said, I'll get you a better job, Henry. So it didn't take long. He got him a job They're putting in the Kahakalo Road, after that, he was a prison warden uh, for, the, for the state and for the Kamaui County. But uh, because there were so many of us, we were all involved in hula. My mom was a kumu hula, and there were seven of us sisters, and we all danced. 
There is a transcript of the panel discussion if you would like to read the conversation along with the video or without the video. Depending on your system and browser, the transcript may automatically download or the PDF may open up in another window. Most browsers will open the PDF in a browser window. You can search the entire transcript for specific words, names, or places by using the browser's built-in search function. For example, we can search the word Kuhio, as in Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole, who Antikahili was just talking about. We see the larger passage of Antikahili's where she shares more about her family and upbringing on Maui. If we click on the arrows to see additional results, we see that the prince was not mentioned again. But we know how important our ali'i, our royals were, to Hawaiians. So let's try another such search. We see King David Kalakaua is brought into the conversation by Kumuhula George Naope on page 9. It's not surprising seeing how Uncle George loved the king, and often quoted his saying, Hula is the language of the heart, therefore the heartbeat of the Hawaiian people. Some browsers automatically download a PDF and do not open in a web browser like this. Locate the downloaded PDF on your computer, open the file, and use Adobe's built-in search feature to look for key terms. Let's return now to the record for this panel presentation. You can also look at photos taken during the event. To scroll in the carousel, you can simply click on the next thumbnail to see what is included. Lastly, a research tool called a finding aid is also available. It can help you narrow down areas of interest before doing more in-depth research. You can readily identify a finding aid in the items carousel because it is green, while transcripts are orange. Like the transcript files, a PDF will either display in a browser window or automatically download. You can look at the finding aid to get a feel for terms and content as they occurred in the conversation. Additional information for this digital heritage item record and the panel itself can be found in the right-hand column of the page and at the bottom of the page. There are also digital heritage item records for oral history interviews HPS conducted with Antikahili. These are distinguishable from events as they are labeled with Antikahili's name, followed by the date of the interview. These records may also contain downloadable PDF transcripts and finding aids to assist in your research along with photos taken by HPS during the interviews. The last kind of research tool you may find in an elder's collection is a footage list. Let's take a look at Antikahili's. This list is a PDF and again may open in your web browser or automatically download. Footage lists are colored blue. This listing offers details on HPS footage we have relating to Antikahili in the archive. In it, you'll see a reference to a family performance at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. The video of this remarkable program is available in her collection, so be sure to check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Let's return to the wonderful panel Auntie was in and see a little of her sweet impromptu hula. Seen but heard in the clip was Auntie Nona Beamer helping sing her grandmother's song Kimo Hula. And of course, there was Uncle George Naope on ukulele with all his rings. Check out this whole incredible program when you have 80 minutes to set aside.
We hope you enjoy your time learning about the incredibly down-to-earth and endearing Antikahili Long Cummings. We encourage you to explore other elder collections on Digital Umeke. If you need help with your research, have questions, or would like to inquire about other materials, please go to Research Inquiries at the top of the page. You will be taken to our HPS Archive page, where you can access our Archive Inquiry form. Mahalo for joining us. We can be reached at archive at hulapreservation.org. Mala mapono.